Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today, the 28th of May 2024. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's start by having a look at what's come across the news. Of course, US markets were shut last night because of Memorial Day, due to reopen after the long weekend. European markets did close higher overnight, with the exception of the FTSE, of course, which was also closed. And market eyes will turn to the key data later in the week. US futures are just above neutral in Asian trading. Asian markets are pretty flat after that positive day yesterday, perhaps waiting for some more news to come across. ASX is near neutral in early trading, and European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open, with, of course, the FTSE reopening after yesterday's close. So we'd expect a little bit of a move higher, perhaps, in that as it opens. US dollar index has been soft for the last couple of days. It's uh, weak again today uh, in Asia. Gold has edged back to 23.50 after losses last week in copper. It's also bouncing off a potential support after a little bit of a pullback again uh, last week. Oil is also bouncing off three-month lows to move back into the range. It looks fairly comfortable in what appears to be a bit of a sweet spot range for both OPEC and without threatening inflation too much. Bitcoin remains in a tight range, just below 70,000. And it is a quiet day today before a busier end to the week. Australian retail sales are out. US housing data later, very little else to jump up and down about. But we do have the US GDP and PCE data out on Thursday and Friday, respectively. Those are the highlights for the week and are likely to major market moving potential. A couple of charts at Core RI today. We're going to start with Mesoplast, who are still challenging this 118 level, still waiting, as we have been for the last week, for a breach to the upside. Uh, and this remains one on the radar. Really worth being patient, checking in at the last hour of the trading day to see if we've got any movement in this. Uh, but obviously, a pause level based on previous price action here and even back to July 2023. So, not surprisingly, an established resistance level, but if it does breach, there's a very healthy move potential to the upside. In the FX world, we're still looking at the Kiwi Swissy. You can see it had a good day yesterday. We talked about this. Again, we've got upside pressure. Slight pullback towards the back end of the US market, but immediately bouncing back up to 56.22. In terms of where this sits, we can look at a longer time frame. And if we look and a daily, and then take it right back. You can see this has the potential to possibly move up towards this 56, 55 level. So, possibly a 35 pick move to the upside. Uh, probably a slow burn it with this in terms of getting up there, uh, but still looks very bullish in terms of its potential to the upside. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.